useful idiots, huh? That's that's pretty rich here coming from uh, to come claiming people that don't agree with you, useful idiots. Now we got Net and Not a Jew who came over here and pretty much ran his mouth and told you what you're going to believe in, what's true and what's not, with absolutely no proof whatsoever. And he pretty much said that anyone who didn't agree with them were pretty much being used by the other side and that they were useful idiots. And like Sister Pat was saying in her video this morning, it was a great lie that she had, you know, was talking about how we're all these people that stand up for their country. We're all that, that America and love America so much. Where are all these people at? You know, I thought this was a land where you had the opportunity to, you know, have a differing opinion. But see, if you don't have the same opinion as the so-called Constantine Christians and you agree with who the so-called chosen people are, then you could be pretty much considered a useful idiot. Now, Netanyahu was saying quite a few things like, you know, that that was the land over there for sure, that they've been there for 4,000, they were here there 4,000 years ago. And that, um, you know, they were there back then and they're going to continue to be there and, and everything else. Well, it's kind of funny because so-called um, Europeans or white people didn't even come on the scene over in um, Ireland until 400 B.C., 500 B.C. So if there was covenants being made thousands of years before that, but then so-called white Europeans, which is what Net not a Jew is, he is a, he's Polish. Um, they weren't even, they didn't even show up on the scene until 500 B.C., how exactly are they the ones that were making a covenant with the Most High thousands and thousands of years before they came on the scene? See, these people, the real useful idiots would be the American people. The people that still believe that, you know, everything that this dude says is true. He said that the Holocaust was the worst Holocaust ever. But with King Leopold alone, there was 10 million people that was killed by the Dutch. So I can see if it, if it's not so-called white people, it doesn't matter. If you kill so-called black people, the numbers don't matter. You can kill hundreds of billions and we don't count that. That doesn't count. It only counts when supposedly white people are killed. So, and you believe that he can just go out there and say all these things without any proof whatsoever. And you guys, and you guys believe him and you give him standing ovations. These are your leaders that are giving him standing ovations to come over here and pretty much talk mess on people here who are protesting what he's doing over there. Now, he's telling you that they're not killing civilians. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. And you can easily see, um, you know, from other reports and things like that, that those are just total lies. Now, if he's going to sit here and lie to you right in front of your face and tell you that, yeah, you're not seeing what you're really seeing. If that, if he can do that right here in front in front of your face right now, and you still, you know, you believe everything he says, he's playing that Jedi mind trick on you. This isn't what you're seeing. You're not seeing us really killing all these civilians. That's not what that's, this really is. If he can lie to you in 2024, what makes you think they're telling you the truth about what happened 4,000 years ago? How can they prove beyond a reasonable doubt because, you know, that they are the people? Because they speak Yiddish? Does that mean that? Is that what they spoke back in the, in the past? Because they spoke Yiddish? That's what they speak now, right? And that even goes against what the Bible says because you go to Jeremiah 17 and 4, it tells you that the Israelites were going to lose their, inher their, their heritage. They're going to lose their inheritance. They're going to lose everything. They lose their inheritance, they lose their heritage, they lose who they are. They don't know, they don't have any knowledge or understanding. They're shipped to the whole four corners of the earth. No one, you know, no, no one really knows who they are. No one says restore to the true people of the book. But see, who are the really useful idiots? The really useful idiots are the ones who won't read. The really useful idiots are the ones that don't study. The really useful idiots are the ones who just listen to whatever someone tells them and they don't fact check them. So see, the really useful idiots is you. And you've been used. That's why you're still cutting him checks when you don't even have any money for yourselves. You don't even have money for your for yourself, for your health care, for your education, for your children. No, nothing. You are thirty seven trillion dollars in debt and growing every hundred days. And you still think you have money to give to this person. What is the that is the definition of a useful idiot that you would give away your future to someone else based on nothing but lies. But he would but he's allowed to come over here and call you useful idiots for supporting the opposition to him while he's got people just, you know, blinded a Jedi mind trick. You're not seeing what you're seeing. He can lie to you about absolutely everything. And you would never even think to question him because you think, see, ultimately you're not following him because you really believe what he's saying. 
You're following him because you hope to get some kind of a benefit out of it. You're following him because you seem to go back to Genesis where if you bless Israel, you will be blessed. And if you curse Israel, you will be cursed. See, you see your society falling apart and you think that pretty much this is your only way out. $37 trillion of debt, you know, no, no hope for the future. Your children, you know, have uh, pretty much lost hope in the future. You've lost hope in the future. You know that your, uh, your history is nothing but made up lies and you only think you have one option to get out of it and to support a regime that is lying to you about absolutely everything. See, you're not following him because you really believe that Bible. You're following him because you think this is your only way out. And no matter what he says, you're going to believe whatever he says. You're because you you know that you don't you don't have an out over this way. You know, I said you think that what you're going to be uh, able to uh, escape all these punishments that the Most High has promised. That's not going to happen. So therefore, you don't have any other options. So you're not following him because you really believe the Bible because you already know that, that pretty much this guy is just lying to you and you just listen to everything this guy says because you know that you don't have any other options at this point because the true Israelites have been awakened and they're standing back up and that means therefore there is, it's time for judgment and you're hoping that somehow you're going to be able to get the devil has promised you a, a way out. The devil has promised you that if you come on our side and you follow us, we're going to give you, we're going to get you raptured up out of here. We're, we're going to give you an out. So therefore you're hoping and you know, you're hoping and praying and pleading that this, that this is true. And it, you know, you're going to be able to uh, get out away from this judgment. But I'm here to tell you that there's no way out of this judgment. You know, I said, we had to pay. We had to pay. Most high, you know, chastised us first. That's why we are in a position that we're in. And now it's time for your chastisement. So it's just because you've turned a blind eye to facts, you, you, you've turned a blind, a blind eye to comprehension skills, doesn't mean that the um, that this judgment is not coming. So who are the real useful idiots, the ones who've given away their whole future to a person who's lied to them about absolutely everything? You know those aren't the people. You know you can't prove it. You know, I said, you're just going to ignore the fact that you came over here and killed hundreds of billions of people, you know, uh, in these lands. And you're just going to turn your blind eye away from that? You're going to hide the fact that the churches have, for thousands of years, have been doing an inquisition and been killing people and thinking that you're not going to have to pay? You see, this is why you're afraid to look at your history, because you know that your history damns you. It damns your church. It damns your governments. It damns, it damns what you've done for the last couple thousand years. So really, who are the useful idiots? We're going to see for sure real soon. Shalom.